After lightening my hair with a lemon juice and hydrogen peroxide solution, I wanted to test out a natural hair dye which used a range of herbs to help dye my hair dark brown again. I also wanted to test out if it would, in fact, dye the grey hairs that were slowly building in my hair. I have dyed my hair before using a range of natural ingredients. I've dyed it red using henna, blonde using turmeric, purple using beets, and achieved some natural highlights using a mix of apple cider vinegar and water. But now I want to go back to my natural hair colour, which is brunette. The herbal brown hair dye I'll be sharing in this video will help give hair a natural hue. It will not, however, create artificial colours like that found in chemical dyes or be as strong as conventional hair dyes, but it will give a gradual darkening effect over time and with several applications. To make this herbal brown hair dye, start by placing half a cup of nettle, half a cup of rosemary, five teaspoons of black tea leaves, and half a cup of sage into a large saucepan. Then fill the pan with three cups of water or enough to ensure the herbs are completely covered. Bring the water to a boil, then reduce it to a simmer and allow the tea to simmer for 30 to 40 minutes. Then remove it from heat and allow the tea to cool completely before applying it to your hair. Strain out the dye mixture and store it in a spray bottle for easy application. To use this dye, Apply a generous amount to hair until your hair is completely saturated in the mix and comb it through to ensure all your hair is coated evenly in the dye. Then leave it on for 2-4 to four hours or longer if you're wanting a deeper colour. Once finished, you can shampoo as usual. This dye will need to be applied several times a week until your hair has reached your desired tone and colour. So this is how my hair looks after one application of the hair dye. This one is a more of a gradual dyeing process. So it will take a few sessions, like a few goes and applications of the hair dye to actually see some effect. So I'm gonna continue doing it a few more times and I'll show you the progress each time that I do it to show you the difference that it has on my hair. I think it's had a slight effect. It looks a little bit darker to me. Maybe it's just in my head. But when I wake up, I was like, oh, it looks slightly darker than before. So I think there's been some change, so I'm hoping as I keep doing this that it will be more and more noticeable. This was the result after about a month of consistently dyeing my hair with this herbal hair dye around 3-4 to four times a week and allowing the dye to sit in my hair for a minimum of 4 hours or so. It slowly stains the hair over time and darkens the hair gradually with each use. And that is how I dyed my hair naturally with herbs. I hope you enjoyed the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day or night wherever you are in the world. I send you all my love and I'll see you soon again.